Just the gun. Just the gun. Serge Malakoff. Well, the ex-con that filed a complaint against you. Murdered. We need a formal ID. You're the next of kin. No way. The Serge was shouting at him. Screw you. Chris Christie, something like that, I don't know. Serge said that? Yeah, the screw you, Christie. I want my gun back. I have to ask Charlie about that. I know you killed Serge Malakoff. So, prove it. I still don't give a damn who killed him. It's Charlie Driscoll. Who's he? It's a she. Swap this for one that you'll find in the evidence room at the police centre. The other one's got my prints all over it. You killed Fredericks with a brooch. I didn't kill anyone with this. By the time they notice the difference, it'll be too late. The case will get thrown out. Like I told you, you can stick it. Fredericks told you I'd win at that. Did you kill him for payback? No comment. You caught a cab to panic for half the murder, didn't you? No comment. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 you got it. <clears throat> it's not the same. It's got no stones. <laughs> well spotted. But they won't review the evidence before the trial. By then it'll be too late. And uh, because you'll do your job so well, they won't know how the switch happened. You will do your job well, won't you, Jack? Oh, it depends on when I get paid. You'll get your gun back just as soon as you bring me the original brooch. You know, you're taking a hell of a gamble that they don't notice the switch any sooner. So what if they do? There'll be an adjournment, followed by another adjournment. My lawyers will eventually file for a stay of proceedings on the basis of undue delay by the Crown. They'll win. If you're still here. I will be. Oh, I couldn't help overhearing. Bit of a blue between you and Baracus last night. What, he's getting a bit big for his boots, is he? I saw him right. What, bit of trouble at home? Not if you get me that brooch. So you do it, Christy. Hey Max, how are you? Not again. Look, I told you everything I know twice. I've got nothing else to say, all right? That's okay, mate. We just need you to attend an ID parade. What? A line-up. So you can identify the guy you said you saw down here when uh, Malakoff was shot. Well, how am I meant to do that? I told you I hardly saw him. He was running away. It was dark. Well, you gave us a pretty clear description first time round. What are you saying? You made a mistake now, Max? No. Why do I have to do this as well? So we can make a definite ID on the suspect. Now we won't have to bother you anymore. What do I have to do? Details are here. 1 p.m. You can send a car around if you'd like. No. No, I'll, I'll get there. Yeah? Yeah. See you, Max. Yeah. Maybe Jack was right, you know. Whoever put him up to this never warned him about facing a parade. Sloppy. <laughs> Maybe it's not such a crazy idea. Maybe he's actually never seen what Jack looks like. Which means he's got till one o'clock to find out. You want to take first watch? An absolute pleasure.
Catherine. Well, did you want to see me or not? Not really. But I wanted to tell you something. Someone's contacted you? A lawyer. Angus Trelaw. There's money for me, just like you said. $250,000. This Trelaw, did he say where it came from? Just that it was indirectly from my father. He said he couldn't say more. He didn't mention this Driscoll person. No, of course not. Well, I'll get this Trelaw talking and he'll give me a link back to Driscoll. Hey. I don't get it. What was in it for her? What did she get out of the deal? She was in trouble. Had nothing to do with your father. He just provided a way out for her. How could he agree to it? Agree to be killed? He was dying. He had no time to make it up to you. And she knew how desperate he was to do that. She won't get away with this. I'll get her, I promise. You were right. He did care about me. Yeah. Then why didn't he tell me before? Why did he have to wait till he was dead? Maybe this was his way of telling you. It's a lot of money. Oh, screw the money. I wanted my father. <laughs> I'll be in touch. Yeah, Alex, it's Mick. Yeah, there's some action here. Yeah, what's going on? Looks like Lewis West, one of Charlie Driscoll's men. He's brought something in. Yeah, photos? Yeah, they could be photos. I mean, it's the right size. Well, he's got to be on his way to the lineup. It kicks off in 20 minutes. OK, I'll see you there. Yeah, I'd like to speak to one of your solicitors. Yes, an Angus Trelaw. Yeah, Detective Sergeant Jack Christie. OK. We can't be sure, but it looks like one of Driscoll's goons, Lewis West, just gave your portrait to Max Prescott. West, that'll be right. Yeah, why's that? He's a bloke that shot Malakoff. How do you know that? Well, yeah, when's he due back from court? Can you tell Jack that the lookalikes are assembling for the ID parade? He better get himself organised. OK, listen, will you tell him that I'll ring him back? OK, thank you. Uh, listen, uh, Riley reckons that Max Prescott was just given a photo of Jack. Oh, well, that's great. Is there any point in having a line-up? Yeah, there is, Jeff. Yeah, I want this bloke to hang himself. Mm. OK, thanks, gentlemen. If you can stand below one of these numbers, with your backs against the wall, stand below a number, thanks. OK, now your witness will be in here facing you, so it's important to keep a straight face at all times. No expressions or gestures or anything at all that might draw attention to yourself. And please do not speak unless you are asked to do so. Is that clear? Yeah. I didn't know I had to be in there too. Can't I tell you from no, out mate, here? No, mate, it's normal procedure. Now, are you sure you know what to do? If you identify a suspect, you write his number on the blank piece of paper on the table. You got that? Yeah, right, I got you it. You sure? Why right, not? Let's go. known that the witness has identified suspect number three. Brilliant. Not a moment's hesitation. Oh, wasn't that bad after all? Piece of piss, really. That package that Wes gave Max before he came here, odds on there were photos of you, Jack. Yeah, he wouldn't have had time to dump them, so we'll go and have a look right now. Yeah, you hang in there. I don't know, so what happens now, Jeff? I don't know, Jeff. Maybe you ought to just keep away from everyone. Maybe you ought to consider yourself suspended. Well, so is that official? 
Well, not unless we find any more evidence linking you to Malakoff's murder. Well, you won't because I didn't do it, right? It's a setup, and that's what I'm trying to prove. Come on, Jack, you're digging yourself into a grave. I mean, so much for catching Max Prescott out. It's not over yet. Yes, it is. I think it's over for you, mate. Come on, you know who's setting you up. Why don't you just be straight with me? Sergeant Christie, a uh, call for you on line four. She wouldn't give a name, but she said it was urgent. OK, thanks. Yeah, Jack Christie. Why haven't you done the job yet? What is it now, Charlie? You know, this could be considered harassment. Look, you're taking too long. What's the story? What, you think I can just march into the SPC and swap this evidence? You think it's that easy? Yeah, well, that's your problem. I don't care how you do it, but you do it now. They're not shooting at me. These are your guys. That's why you left them at home, and I'm stuck in the middle of it. Come on. Yeah, look, it's me. I'm at the warehouse. Someone's shooting at us. Get your ass down here, quick! They're shooting at us and you're calling one of them? Not West. I trust West. OK. Why don't you ring West back and get him to bring my gun along? Let's get out of here! Oh, great! Come on! What? Like you owe me one, Christy. I wouldn't be in this mess if it wasn't for you. I'll stop breaking my heart. You got a purse full of bullets? the best photos I've seen of Jack Christie, but that's no reason to rip him up and throw him out. Yeah, you're going to hurt Jack's feelings, Max. Am I popping him back in here? We don't need the extra fingerprints. Yeah, good on you, Max. Let's we'll give Jack a call. Okay. We can't stay here. We're sitting ducks. Oh, hell. Jeez. Oh, great. You just told them exactly where we were. we got to get out of here. we got no cover. Why'd you hire these guys? They haven't had a thing. They should have taken you out first shot. What makes you think they're not aiming at you? It's the same result either way. Look, if I'm not around to swap the evidence, you're going down at the trial. Well, that's not going to happen. I've worked too long and hard to get where I am just to end up rotting in some stinking cell for 20 years. Shit. Come on, let's go. Christy! think they're lousy shots, Christy? What's that? I just hope you... I reckon we're even. You're a bit slow. You better give me the gun. I don't know his name, OK? He gives you $5,000, tells you to say you saw Detective Christie the night Malakoff was shot, gives you photos, but you don't know his name. That's right. I don't. Max, you're pretty good at remembering faces from pictures, aren't you? Do you recognise any of these faces? Any of those? You've been taking pictures of me. Is this the man that paid you to lie about Jack Christie? Yeah, that's him. Thank you. Lewis West. That's the name that Jack wanted to prove Driscoll's behind the setup. Yeah, I'm just trying to get Jack now. Just keep getting his voicemail. What's going on? Don't ask me. You're the one he talks to. Not all the time. How can you work with someone you have no idea what they're up to? Uh, Donna, has Jack calling you? I'm sorry. No, oh, look, when he does, could you tell him that we're out looking for this guy, Lewis West? Uh, we need to distribute this to the local police and we need a circulation out on his dark blue Ford Explorer. Here's his registration number. 
I don't like this. Why is it so quiet? Oh, they're playing mind games. I think it will freak me out so much I'll beg for my life. It's a great company you keep. Yeah, not for much longer. Well, you going somewhere? <sighs> you think I'm sticking around this sewer forever? As soon as the trial's called off, I'm gone. Oh, really? So where are you going? The Bahamas? Somewhere I don't have to keep looking over my shoulder. Yeah. Charlie Driscoll retiring. Now I've heard everything. You know what your trouble is, Jack? You've got no imagination. Now me, I can see a whole new life. And I'll tell you what. Unless we get out of here, you're not going anywhere. There's got to be another way in, so let's find it. OK. Charlie! Lewis? Charlie! Lewis! Hey, Wes! Don't have my gun handy, do you? Where the hell have you been? What took you so bloody long? I had to check the joint out make sure they'd gone. What are you doing here? Wes called me. Tell me you're in trouble. Question is, what are you doing here without us? It's dangerous without protection, you know that. Let's go. Cars this way. Can I have my gun back, please? Yeah, you watch your back. Yeah, you watch yours too. You're a target now, remember? Thanks. Hey, where the hell are you being? Max Prescott coughed to the hole, set up over Malakoff's murder. He dropped North West right in it. Yeah, he's not at the gym or at his house, but we'll track him down. OK, let's just forget West at the moment. Just follow him, that's all. What? Something else has come up. You still haven't told me why. Well, I want to swap that for the original. It's got Driscoll's... No, no, all Jack, over no, it. no, why you? Why is she trying to stitch up It could have been any you? cop, right? It could have been anyone with access to the police centre, right? Someone with a bit of history. Right, someone somebody might be lax with a gun. Oh, come on, that was a lucky break. Well, you should have told me that sooner. It might have saved a fair amount of time with that police line-up. Look, it flushed out Prescott. It pointed the finger at West. Yeah, yeah, eventually. Thanks to Mick and Alex. All right, as soon as we find West, we'll bring yeah, him in. Yeah, he, why? He's not going to dob in Driscoll. He's not going to fess up to kill a Malakoff. Jack, he's all we've got. Jeff, this has to come straight from the horse's mouth, right? I, I want to set up a meeting with Driscoll. I want to take her the original piece of evidence like she asked for. All right, what? Well, you want a wire? Yeah. I'll get her talking about Malakoff's death. I'll get her to point the finger at West. OK, well, I'll have to talk to Internal Affairs. Piece of evidence this crucial in a murder. Jeff, Jeff. It has to look like I'm doing it. You know, Driscoll's watching me. Hawker's got to be suspicious. Of what? Of whatever it is Driscoll's holding over Christie. I think Jack should be the one to tell you about that. Look, Alex, it was way before your time. Yeah, and reading between the lines, it sounds like Jack Christie really screwed up. And this all happened around the time of Goldstein's death? It wasn't just the death of any copper. Jack loved Rachel, and we had no leads on the killer. So the ends justifies the means. Well, I don't know if I can agree with that. I mean, where do you, where do you draw the line? More to the point, where does Jack draw the line? If I am working with someone, I need to know that I trust their judgment. You can trust Jack. Well, how can I be so sure when I don't know what is going on? Hey, Hawk is OK to sting on Charlie Driscoll. I'll be wearing a wire. And how much control will you have over what she says, Jack? I mean, there's going to be a lot of people listening. You sure you want this? Don't worry, he didn't say anything. He wouldn't. He does have a point, though, Jack, about what Driscoll might say. I'll risk it. So what are you paired doing tonight? I need babysitting. Driscoll's in the middle of a mutiny. And apparently I'm a target, too. The street's clear. We've checked all around your house, Jack. The side, the back, there's no sign of anything. I'll take the first shift out of here, OK, Alex? Yeah, sure. See you in a couple of hours.
Thompson side. Here. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> Not here to do a white glove test. Hey, Jack, you should know better than that. You know, you're making me jump. Yeah, well, jumpy's good. Jumpy's careful, all right? Say something for me, Jack. Are we going for time? Ten minutes. We better get moving. Right, okay. Yeah, that's good. Thanks. That sounds all right. Got the evidence? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to lose it. Okay. We'll make sure you don't lose this. Oh, sorry. Get the gun back. Uh, it's temporary. Today only. You didn't think I'd let you go in there unarmed, did you, Jack? Okay. Let's not keep the lady waiting. Hang on. What's this plan? Sorry, guys, false alarm. Welcome to all cars and portables. The meet's been cancelled. Return to the station for debriefing. Someone's not going to be happy. Show's over, Jack. Oh, come on, Jeff. Come on, just a bit longer. If she was showing up, she would have shown up by now. <laughs> I don't want you going anywhere near Driscoll until we figure out what's happened. All right, Jack? OK, how are we going to do that if I don't go there? Excuse Sorry. me, Detective Christie. Manly Police. They've found someone at Shelley Beach and want you to attend. Ah, oh, Charlie. Well, that's one way to retire. Doesn't look like a hit, Jack. No bullet wound. Yeah, Ambos think it could be a broken neck. Could have been one of them while we did it. We'll wait and see what the divers find that might help us. I guess that means you're not a target anymore. Fair people don't have to worry about you getting her off a murder charge. So, no more babysitting. Oh, my gun's still out there. Charlie being laid out doesn't stop me being a suspect in the Malakoff murder. So we go find West? Rick! Someone else I want to see first. Sorry about the Bahamas, Charlie. Oh, Catherine. Oh, jeez, what are you want? I'm running late for work. There's something I thought you should know. Did you talk to that lawyer, Trelaw? Yeah, he's not saying anything. It's something else. It's Driscoll. Now what? Someone got to her, broke her neck. Dead? Well, as good as. Did you do it? Me? No. Well, you said you'd get her. Yeah, not that way. <laughs> Doesn't make any difference, does it? Dad's still dead. Hey, Mick. West is still not at his house. Alex is trying to convince a magistrate to get us a warrant to search his house for your gun. But I don't like our chances. We don't have enough to show just cause. You got the dogs keeping an eye on the house? Yeah. 
Unless he's here, busy trying to take over this empire. Maybe. You don't think he did it, don't you? Oh, Driscoll trusted him. He was the only one she did. Yeah, but it doesn't mean she can't be wrong about him, does it? This how you work off your grief. At least he's wearing black. What are you talking about? Oh, come on, Barakas. You know as well as we do. Somebody had a go at Driscoll, left it for dead. Yeah, bad news travels fast. It's a real shock. Save the performance. Is Lewis West here? No, don't know where he is. So what happened to her? Oh, that's what you're going to tell us. You get yourself dressed. I opened the gym at six. I've been there all morning. Ask anyone. What, that bunch of deadheads? Oh, the steroid junkies? Oh, come on, Barakas. You've got up to do better than that. It's the truth. Why would I try and kill Charlie? She's been like a mum to me. Oh, dear, how touching. She's a very powerful woman. She's the one thing that comes between you, the power and all that money. Yeah, well, I did OK. I didn't hurt her. So when was the last time you saw her? We went out to dinner last night. I dropped her home around 11. She might have gone out after that. What, without her goons? Oh, come on, Barakas, you never let her out of your sight. Look, are you deaf? I said I didn't do it. And when I find out who did, I'll let you know. How's that? You got nothing to hold him yeah, on. I know that. But he knows what happened. He either did it or he knows who did it. So it's back to West. Well, we've got the dogs out on him. Put a circulation out on his mugshot and his car. Yeah, but what if he goes to the ground? Where does that leave us, right? How about the divers, right? They luck out with any evidence where Driscoll was found or No, no? word, no word. Oh, where's Driscoll? Critical. BK G Sydney Water Police to all water police vessels. Shots have been fired at Cooper's Point Charter Boat Wharf. Boats in the vicinity, please attend as soon as possible. Hey, Sarge, we're right near there. Harpy to VKG, we'll attend. ETA, five minutes. Let's go. How many shots were there? Two. From what direction? Somewhere up there, along the shore. Are you the only person on board? Was anyone hurt? Almost. If the bullet come that close, she could have been killed. No idea who'd do this. And they were definitely aiming at you? Yes, there was no one else anywhere near me. But you didn't see who it was? No. OK, so, so why do you think they did it? I'm just trying to think. I don't know. OK, so no one's been in contact with you, none of Driscoll's people? No. I never met Driscoll and I don't know her people. They've got nothing to do with me. Now, that's not altogether true. You know that she was responsible for killing your father, right? And for the lump sum money that you received. Now that Driscoll's out of the picture, maybe they came back for their money. What do you reckon? Fine, let them. I didn't ask for it anyway. Maybe they knew it wouldn't be that easy. What? Can I go home now? You want us to find out who did this, don't you? See, if they want to get rid of you, maybe they see you as a threat. Me? That's crazy. And maybe they know you won't be too happy about losing the money. And maybe I got this all us about. Maybe you knew about Driscoll's plan to kill your father. What? And maybe you even negotiated the price. And all that stuff, all that loving stuff you've been telling me about him is just a load of crap. You lying! You lying bastard! Come on, come on, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Piss off! I don't have to deal with this shit! And don't you try talking to me again, I've had enough of you! Yeah, that, that, that worked really well, Jim. That, that was good. Boy, I really hit a nerve there. I mean, the first mention of money, Catherine got twitchy. I think she's lying about something. 
No, look, if it's Driscoll's people you're talking about, they're professional, they're not going to miss Jack. Look, if it was Lewis West, I'd agree. He's a good shot. That's why I think it's Baracus, he's not a shooter. Maybe they were just trying to scare Catherine, you know, let her know who she's actually dealing with. Yeah, that is if she's in on the money from the start. Either way, I still think it's Baracus. He wants to be top dog now. So Catherine's not safe out there? No, not while he's out there, no. Can we get some local cops around there to watch her? Jack, she doesn't want anything to do with us. Me I don't want to leave her out there to hang, right? That's my fault her father's dead and she's in the mess she's in now. Yeah, Helen, she's not home. Neighbours haven't seen her. I'll try her at work, eh? OK, well, now she knows the money's made her a target. Uh, she's probably gone underground. What do you think? Still doesn't mean she's safe. Can you put a circulation out on her car? Yes, I will do that. <laughs> oh, it didn't take you long to settle in. And Driscoll not even dead yet. Detectives. Lovely to see you. Again. Where were you this morning? Enjoying the hospitality of the water police. Yeah, and after that? Oh, please. Am I going to have to give you an alibi for every second of every day from now on? Just answer the question. I came straight back here. But you didn't make any detours, stop off to any little jobs, type any loose ends, now you're top dog? Such as? Well, what did you tell us? I already did. I came straight back here. I've been here ever since. I suppose your mates out the front will naturally be able to back that up. Naturally. Uh, listen, we've got plenty of work to do here, fellas, so... Yeah, I can see that. So where's Lewis West? Lewis? Let's see. Thursday lunch. He likes to spend time with the twins. Take the back? Sure. Send me water, please. Open up. Which way? See you next Thursday. Hey, Jack! It's Detective Michael Riley from Sydney Water Police. Can I have an ambulance down to the Gloucester Street in the rocks, please? Of a civilian hit by a car. You just hang in there, West. I thought my number would be up soon. But I didn't think you'd be the blokes who'd do the job. Who then, Brackets? I thought he might doubt my loyalty. You were always Driscoll's man, weren't you? So who did the job on her? Was that Brackets? Don't know. But it was him that took the pot shots at Driscoll and I yesterday at the warehouse, wasn't it? Come on, mate, there's no harm in telling me now. Could be. He's a lousy shot. Bloody amateurs. But you aren't, are you? I mean, you got Malakoff clean through here, right? It was what Charlie wanted. What about Catherine Malakoff? Barakas is after her. He'll get her too. Lousy shot or not. Barakas probably shot through just after the last time we were here. Well, if he's had that head start, Jack, he could be anywhere by okay, now. Circulate a description of the car. Let's get the dogs over to his place now. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, Alex, how'd you go with Catherine? Uh, yeah, Catherine's boss said she came in, grabbed her stuff from the office and her pay and left. And then a guy sounding very much like Barakas turned up asking questions about her. OK, I want you to get on to a solicitor. Yeah, his name is Angus Trelaw. If she's going to do a runner, she'll want to collect the money. Yeah, Mick and I'll keep up to Baracus. Right you are. Detective yeah, good on you. 200. Yeah, water police 200. Go ahead, Helen. Catherine Malakoff's car, Mick. It's a blue Ford Triton TIL 050. Last seen on Lyon Street. That's near the Herald Park tram shed. A red BMW ran it off the road. Shots have been fired. Let Alex know. Copy that. OK, let's go. That's her car. Vic, you want to run a check on the BMW? Water police 200 of EKG. Go ahead, Right, this motor's still warm. She got out in a hurry. Yeah, not just because of the flat tire. Look at this. Yeah, poor hole. Yeah, no sign of any other bullets or any blood, so maybe Catherine's still OK. Right, you want to call it in? Yeah.
Water Police 200, of EKG Sydney Water Police. We're acquiring backup at uh, Lyons Street, Harold Park. Our suspect is armed, requiring urgent assistance. Copy that, Water Police 200. Oh, can you tell Mick that the BMW Rego checks out to George Barakas? Copy that. You're gonna kill her and keep the money. Wrong, detective. She now, Charlie. I rang Driscoll. Told her there was a letter with the money addressed to her from my father. With strict instructions that I hand it to her in person. And she came to meet you without the bodyguards? I didn't see anyone. Was in the letter. There wasn't one. I just made it up. I outsmarted the great Charlie Driscoll. It was that easy. And when she realised the letter was just a ruse? I had a rope. I'm good with them. I just picked it up and threw it around her neck. Like she was a mooring pole. I heard her neck snap and then I rolled her into the water. I thought she was dead. So did Baracus. He was there. He was waiting at the car. He saw the body after you'd gone. He knew it was you. He should have just told me he wanted the money. I didn't care about it. I never did. He could have kept it all. Instead, you did him a favour. You got rid of Driscoll for him. She thought she was so smart. With all the power she thought she had over people, but she didn't know anything that mattered. Like what? Like love. She didn't know that I loved my father, even if it was screwed up. I might have had three more months with him, maybe six, who knows? But she took that away. She took him away from me. You know that you'll be charged with attempt murder. And that you'll go to jail. You, you do know that, don't you, Catherine? I've done the world a favour. I hope she dies. Quadriplegic. Yeah, her spinal cord's been seriously damaged. She may never walk again. I'd rather be dead. Anyway, I'm off. See you, Helen. See you later, Helen. See you, mate. Poor old Charlie, eh? Stuck in a wheelchair, stuck in prison. Sounds like you miss her. 
Oh, you got to admire her. She had guts. She was a fighter. Yeah, and she exploited and killed a lot of people along the way. She could have ruined your life, Jack. Hey, <laughs> I don't need any help to ruin my life, mate. I'll do a fight. I'll see you. See you, Jack. So once again, our mighty warrior comes up smelling roses. Yeah, you better get used to it. You missed a nice guy, Mick, huh? Huh? Is that who you are? No. Hey? No. Believe in anyone? Not anyone. Just Jack. Yeah, well, I've got no reason not to. I mean, he's never done anything against me, so, yeah. Yeah, but the way he keeps everything to himself, you know, you never know what he's thinking. Don't you find that frustrating? No, not at all. I can read minds. Oh, shut up. I can, believe me. Yeah, I can. I do. I'll read minds. I think I can read your mind now. <clears throat> can we go for a beer? <laughs> <laughs>